Welcome, let us take a look at the millennium to come. According to the Bible, Jesus will govern the world peacefully for 1000 years at the end of the age we now live in. Today, in a world plagued by wars, terrorism, and other tragedies, Christians have become fascinated by the millennium, regarded as a 1000 year time of peace on earth to come. Revelation 19 reveals that Jesus returns in majesty and power to rule the world and establish a righteous reign as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The Bible says, A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. It also says but, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. God perceives time differently than we do since he is everlasting and not reliant on food, drink, or other physical considerations of this earth. At this time Satan will also be chained for the same period of time and the Christians shall rule with Jesus during the millennium or thousand years. The Bible says, Then I, the Apostle John, saw an angel descending from heaven, holding the key of the abyss, the bottomless pit, and a great chain was in his hand. And he overpowered and laid hold of the dragon, that old serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him securely for a thousand years or a millennium. And the angel hurled him into the abyss, and closed it and sealed it above him, so that he would no longer deceive and seduce the nations, until the thousand years comes to an end. The saints of God, who rejected the beast authority during the tribulation, shall also rule with Jesus Christ for one thousand years. According to Bible messianic prophecies like Isaiah, the millennium is about peace and happiness for the people of the world. He said, They shall neither injure nor destroy on all my holy mountain, because the world shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the floods fill the sea. He also said, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. The lame will bound like a deer, and the tongue of the deaf will sing. Floods will break out in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The prophet Micah also went on to say, Now it shall come to pass in the later days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be erected atop the mountains, and shall be raised above the hills, and peoples shall stream to it. Numerous countries will cry, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Israel, he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his pathways. Because his voice will emanate from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge among many countries and reprove mighty nations from afar, they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Country shall not raise sword against nation, nor shall they study battle again. No one shall make them terrified, because the voice of the Lord of hosts has spoken. People will know God and follow his ways of governance in the millennium, which is considered as a period of spiritual rebirth and progress. The millennium depicts God's ultimate purpose for people and the planet, giving hope and solace to those who trust in God's ability to achieve peace and justice on earth. Peter summarized these prophecies in Acts saying, Repent therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord that he may send Jesus Christ, who was preached to you before, whom heaven must receive until the times of restoration of all things. The end, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. My friends we are near the end of this age. The time has been set and Jesus is coming soon to rule with justice and mercy. Prepare your heart with joy and look up for our redemption is drawing near. Thank you for listening. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share. To support this ministry, please click on the link below this video. Or go to donate at gracetoprophecy.com. May God bless you.